The desktop has always been my go-to platform for work and gaming because of the high levels of unrestricted power and performance that I can get from it. It turns out that kind of performance is exactly what Intel's bringing to the portable space with their latest 12th gen Core H series mobile processors. A big thanks to Intel for sending over this MSI Raider GE76 laptop designed with the new 12th gen Core i9-12900HK and making this video possible. As a content creator and gamer, I spend a lot of time sitting in front of my PC, and I don't really have a problem with that, it's what I do. But I also love the idea of having something that can deliver that kind of solid level of performance, but in a portable form factor that I can pack up, take with me, create videos, edit photos, and do some real gaming on the go. I'm talking about the kind of gaming where you don't have to lower all the quality settings to get a playable frame rate. That's what this platform's all about. 12th gen Core H series mobile processors use Intel's performance hybrid design where they combine big performance cores, called P-cores, with smaller, more efficient ones, called E-cores. It's the same design being used by the 12th gen desktop parts, but with a lower power and TDP envelope to help keep thermals manageable and improve battery life a little bit for the mobile side. Think about it like this. P-cores are the biggest, fastest, best performing cores on the CPU. They're optimized to handle single-threaded applications, like a lot of games out there, that tend to benefit from high single-core clock speeds. While the P-cores are doing all the heavy lifting, the smaller, more efficient E-cores are working on heavily threaded applications and background processes. Now these ones don't run as fast as the P-cores, but they're optimized to tear through multi-threaded workloads. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, Intel thread directors working to maximize performance using machine learning telemetry to predict workloads and get them assigned to the right cores. It's the combination of these two uniquely designed cores working together with thread director that makes this platform what it is, allowing users to experience solid performance right across the board, from gaming to productivity and pretty much everything in between. This platform also offers other cutting edge tech like support for DDR5 RAM, built-in Wi-Fi 6E for low latency high speed gaming on the go, and Thunderbolt 4 that'll let you connect multiple 4K displays and a throughput up to 40 gigabits per second. That's going to be useful if you want to pick up one of these high spec beefy laptops and connect multiple monitors to it just like you would a desktop. So what does all this mean for a gamer, content creator, and PC enthusiast like me? Well, it offers the opportunity to break free from the idea that high-end computing is reserved just for desktop PCs. There's enough power and performance right here to cut through professional level creative workloads. I'm a DaVinci Resolve Studio user. My entire video production workflow is all done in this application. From organizing and cutting footage to motion graphics, VFX, audio mastering, and rendering the final product. I do it all right here in this one app. One of the most important things for me when I'm working on a video project is my timeline performance. I like to work with full resolution playback, so no proxies that reduce quality to speed up performance or anything like that. I work with full resolution playback at my project frame rate, which is typically 24 frames per second for like 90% of the work that I do. The reason this is so important is that anytime that frame rate drops below 24 frames per second, it shows up as a lag or a delay on the timeline. It's almost like looking at the footage in slow motion, but it's not a good slow motion. It's like choppy and it's really ugly. It makes it hard to see what you're doing and it's just not a good way to work. Here's a clip of some butterflies that I shot recently. This is shot in 4K resolution at 120 frames per second with H.265 compression, which is really not an easy codec to work with. It's designed to make really small compressed file sizes, not necessarily to be easy to work with in post-production. In other words, it requires some serious system power to be able to work with these files. I'm playing this back in a 24 FPS timeline to achieve a five times slow motion effect. And look at it, it keeps up perfectly at the project frame rate, just like my desktop. It's pumping out 24 FPS constantly, it's not dipping, it's not dropping around. The performance is solid right across the board. I could even click around here and just move around and it's gonna maintain that frame rate the entire time. And also, when it comes time to render the project, there's actually enough performance left over on the table to jump out or you know surf the web, listen to some music or do something on the side while that project's rendering. Having this kind of power in a portable system can transform the way we game and create. It offers the opportunity to break free from the idea that creative or professional work is done in front of a desktop PC in an office or a studio environment. With this system, I can basically take my entire video production workflow with me wherever I want and still be able to produce high quality content. Systems with enough power to run high-end creative apps are also usually good at gaming too, and that's definitely the case here. This laptop's running a 12th gen Core i9-12900HK with 6 P-cores and 8 E-cores and a mobile RTX 3080 Ti GPU. 
It's all laptop hardware, so it's not quite at the same level as the desktop parts. Remember, it needs to run in a small portable case without melting and also offer at least some kind of battery life. And by the way, don't expect world-class battery life, it's not designed for that. But it's powerful enough to deliver a solid gaming experience at 1080p and all the way up to 4K. I'll tell you right now, it's a lot of fun having a high-end desktop PC gaming platform like this. If you look at my desktop, it's ridiculous to even think or consider picking it up and moving it somewhere. Like, no one would ever do that. But this? I mean, it's big for a laptop, don't get me wrong, and the power brick's like the size and weight of an actual brick, but still, it's infinitely more portable than anything else that I have. I'm used to gaming on a Core i9-12900K and an RTX 3090 GPU on my desktop, so it's safe to say I have pretty high expectations when it comes to gaming performance. And still, I'm loving what I'm getting out of this laptop. I'm excited for this new platform. It's enabling me to create and game outside of the studio, whether that be in my home or somewhere else. Check out the link in the description to learn more about the 12th gen Intel Core H series mobile processors. Get subscribed and give the video a thumbs up on the way out, and we'll see you soon.